Hello beautiful buds, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm coming at you guys from our newly redone guest room. I am so proud of the way that this room turned out and it really was a very budget project. Everything is kind of a mix of Ikea, Amazon, Target, and DIYs, as well as a lot of thrifted items. So if you guys are interested to see how we got this look done on a budget, then go ahead and keep watching. If this is your first time on this channel, welcome. Thank you for being here and stopping by. My name is Megan and I post new affordable and ethical lifestyle content every Monday and Friday. So please make sure that you hit that little subscribe button right down here so that you don't miss when I post. So this room is really born out of a need for me to have a multi-purpose space that we could use to host overnight guests and also to have a, a place to film. I recently rebranded my channel um, and I didn't feel like my old setup really fit the vibe that I was going for anymore. Um, so we came up with this setup. So I'll show you guys. This chair right here is from Goodwill. It actually is originally from Target, but I did find it at Goodwill, which was an absolute steal. I got this clothing rack off of Amazon, and then this plant stand as well as this banner are both DIYs. So for everything that I purchased, I will leave the links in the description box down below. And then for all of the DIYs, I will show the little video card title thing wherever that comes up. The plant stand DIY is actually already up on my channel and then the banner will be up very soon. So again, please make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. Moving over here to the bed, um, we just got a really basic twin bed frame. This was secondhand, but I believe it's originally from Ikea. I really wanted just a neutral canvas that I could really play with. So we got this duvet cover, which is also originally from Ikea, but Ikea actually doesn't sell it anymore, but I did find it on Amazon, so I'll link that down below for you guys. Our adorable marble and reclaimed wood side table is from Target, and it has this matte black lamp on it that is thrifted, and I absolutely love it, as well as this uh, stoneware pitcher from Hearth and Hand, which y'all know how much I'm obsessed with Hearth and Hand. Okay, I do apologize if the camera angle just changed. My camera battery died as it does almost every time I make a video. I'm sorry to change it real quick. Um, but I was saying that I absolutely love Hearth and Hands, so that's where this picture is from. And then if you go over to the left of these beautiful like domed windows that our apartment complex has, uh, I just have an Ikea dresser, but I try to dress it up with a few little plants. This little cactus with a smiley face is from M. Lovewell, which is a little boutique in Santa Ana that I highly recommend you check out. It's super cute. Um, and then a rubber tree. And I repurposed this cake stand from H&M, which actually held our wedding cake on our wedding day and I made it into a perfume stand so that I can kind of just grab my perfumes and go because all of my clothing and makeup is also stored in this room in the closet. I think what really shines with this room though is the uh, artwork that we did. So this right here obviously is a DIY which I'll be posting very soon. Um, but I also have a larger version of our Polaroid display frame um, up on the wall above the bed. So if you haven't seen that DIY, again, I'll link a card right up here. I think this is so cute and I love using pictures of myself and my friends and family in my house, but I don't necessarily want like a large blown up canvas because I feel like that can be like, ah, look, it's my face, shove it in your face. So this is a good way to display a lot of really small one-of-a-kind memories. Another thing that I did for really cheap artwork that I absolutely love is on Etsy, I found a seller, I'll link the product down below, that sells uh, digital files of all the plants from Kohler's Medicinal Plants book. So it's this really cute vintage lemon plant is the one that I chose. And I actually just had this printed out at Walgreens and then stuck it in a frame. And I think it looks so cute and it's really unique. Um, and it adds another little pop of yellow because I, I love adding little pops of yellow to this room. So again, to recap, I do have three DIYs for this room on my channel, the plant stand, the Polaroid frame, and soon the banner. So I will go ahead and leave those links down in the description box below in case you guys are interested. But thank you so much for watching this video. Please let me know in the comments down below what you think of this guest room and if there's anything that you would add that would make you more comfortable as a guest because I'm always looking for ways to upgrade and improve. And this was the last room that I had to design in my house, so I'm a little bit sad about it. But the patio is next. So if you guys are not subscribed, please again subscribe. I know I'm hammering you over the head with it but I'm just so excited about all the content that I have coming up soon so I would love to have you here as a butt on my channel as usual I hope you guys are having an amazing amazing day wherever you are and I'll see you all with my next video bye